Apple just officially released iOS 18 to all iPhone users. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get ready, download and install it. A couple of things first though, is if you're not seeing iOS 18 in your updates yet, it may not be rolled out to your device. Keep checking though, as it should be soon. Another thing, in order to update to iOS 18, you need to have a newer model than the iPhone 10. That's any device that's a 10S and above. So if you have a compatible device and the update is available, let's go ahead and start updating. First, I always make sure that I back up my phone. To do this, find and open the settings app. Once you're inside of here, tap your name at the top. Next, in the second section, you'll see iCloud. Choose this. Once you're inside of the iCloud menu, scroll down a little bit, and then here near the center, you'll see iCloud Backup. Select this, and then the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that this is turned on. You can check if your phone's been backed up recently by looking at the message underneath a Backup Now here near the center. And if you haven't, tap Backup Now to create a backup. This should be pretty quick, so go ahead and do it now. Once you confirm that you had a recent backup or you just made one, we can go ahead and get started with the update. Head back to the main settings menu. Once you're here, scroll down a little bit, and then here in the center, find and choose General. At the top inside of the General menu, you'll see Software Update. Choose this. Let it load for a second, and then after it does, you'll see a list of all of the available updates. A couple quick things. If you want, you can make sure that auto updates are turned on if you want future updates downloaded automatically. And if you want to have the option to download and install betas, you can go ahead and turn that on too. If you don't see any iOS updates inside of here, or if your device says it's up to date, you can try refreshing the page by pulling down from the top of the screen and letting it refresh. If nothing still appears, then you may not have the update available yet. Once you do have updates available though, they're gonna show inside of here. And if you have an update for your current iOS like I do, it's gonna show up here on top, and then the iOS 18 update is gonna be here at the bottom. I'm gonna skip this iOS 17 update that I have and then just go straight to 18. Two things though before we start the update. Make sure that you're connected to a Wi-Fi network and then also make sure that you're connected to a power supply. Being on cellular isn't as much of an issue as it used to be with data usage and speeds, but Wi-Fi is going to help here. And Apple's not gonna let you update if it's not charging or if it thinks that there's not enough charge to complete. So I'll go ahead and choose upgrade to iOS 18 you can then read the summary of the release notes here, and when you're ready, tap Update Now. Enter in your iPhone's passcode, and then on the next screen, agree to any new terms, and after that, the iOS 18 update's gonna be requested and start downloading. After it finishes the download, it'll start installing on your phone, which could take some time. Once it's finished, it'll then reboot, and your iPhone will be updated and ready to go. You can then confirm that you are on the latest update and everything went right, by heading back into settings, general, software update, and you'll see that you're good to go. If not, or if there was any problems, you can then restart the update process to get it installed. Now there's a ton of new features, and Apple's actually changed quite a bit in the new iOS 18, so I'll start going over everything and making more videos on those in the future. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. And that's how you update your iPhone to iOS 18. Thanks for watching.